Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Ramya Bandi. I am consultant pediatric neurologist working at Ankura Hospital for Women and Children, Hyderabad. Today I am going to give a brief introduction on pediatric neurology. Most of us are aware that for adults there are specialists available for sub branches in medicine such as neurology, nephrology, endocrinology, etc. Similarly, over the past few years, sub branches for pediatric specialties have also emerged. So, pediatric nephrologist, neurologist, endocrinologist, etc. are available now. The immediate question that pops up is what as a pediatric neurologist do I do? Here, first we evaluate the children. Evaluation means taking comprehensive history, examination, doing relevant investigations then treat them with either medications and or with therapies. The conditions that we evaluate and treat can be anything related to the neurological aspect of the child that is brain related. Some of the common conditions include the first and foremost being developmental delay. After a child is born, he or she should attend certain activities at stipulated time frame. For example, walking around one year of age, speaking around one year of age, etc. If there is any delay in attainment of these milestones, we evaluate and treat them. Cerebral palsy comes under this category. Next, we evaluate children with fits or epilepsy. Be it due to any reason, fits are evaluated and treated by us. There is a lot of misguidance, misinformation and stigma attached to this condition. But just like fever, it can be only a symptom which requires further evaluation. Next, we also evaluate kids with speech delays and autism. Autism awareness has increased over the past few years. Early recognition and intervention is the key here. We also evaluate kids with other behavioral issues such as hyperactivity, poor attention span, poor scholastic performance and anxiety, etc. Next in line are genetic conditions, that is the problems related to the genes, which can cause varied symptoms like fits, developmental delays, abnormal movements in children and are in many ways unique to young children. The knowledge about these genetic conditions has increased in leaps and bounds over the past few years because of which we are able to diagnose and treat many conditions which was not possible probably a decade ago. We are also able to offer prenatal testing to prevent the condition in future pregnancies. These conditions are almost exclusively dealt by us. Though headaches are not very common like in adults for children, children also can get headaches and we do evaluate and treat them. Apart from these, we are also in the team to treat certain emergencies like brain fevers, sudden weakness of hands and legs, comas of any cause, uncontrolled fits, etc. As you can understand, there is only an overall view of the speciality. As each child's problem might be different, please reach out to us for any further queries and questions. Thank you all. Thanks for watching. Thank you.